Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about Ghana. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to your favorite channel on YouTube, Darnell Jackson Crypto. Okay, let's jump over to the agenda. We're talking about Ghana sets a date for central bank digital currency following China. This is big news. We're going to be talking about why this is important in this video. Make sure you share this with people you used to talk to every week. Okay. And so I want to go to the news. But first, I want to jump over to a tweet just to give you a point of reference. We're talking about Ghana. We're talking about their central bank. And here's a tweet that says, congratulations to our member, the Bank of Ghana, on their success, achievements, and receiving a prestigious Central Bank of the Year award. Okay, so they were recognized by AFI News or uh, this organization published this tweet recognizing that Ghana, the Bank of Ghana, not only are they a central bank, but they also have been recognized as a leading do the good job bank because they got an award. So that tells you something about what they're doing and what you can expect to happen after their action. So let's take a look at the headline. This article from Bitcoin.com by Terence Z, Bank of Ghana Deputy Governor, says that the central bank digital currency is fiat money. And he reveals his pilot phase will start in September. So there's the date that has been set. Ghana's proposed central bank digital currency is similar to fiat cash and therefore financial institutions as well as fintech startups can still create value based on it a bank of ghana official has said still the official maxwell opo kufari says approval for the use of digital currency will depend on the outcome of the piloting phase all right so this is big news because again the bank of ghana is the bank the central bank that won the award so what they're doing you can expect others to follow and this is especially the smaller economies just talking about what will set a trend and which way you can expect things to head here's another quote digital currency is part of the central bank acknowledging the need for digital payment and digital delivery of financial services. By this, the Bank of Ghana will provide a platform on which we can add more value to digital transactions. Okay, now there's some additional information um, where they link to a local report. Let me jump over to that page. This is from GhanaWeb.com and in this report it's talking about the Bank of Ghana will begin a pilot of digital CEDI in a sandbox environment in September the first deputy governor of the BOG Dr. Maxwell Afari has said Okay, so he made his quote talking about the need for Central Bank, the acknowledgement by the Central Bank 
for the need of digital payment and digital delivery of financial services. So this, he has a quote here, we have to take out time to design it with all the security features and so have started it in a pilot phase through what we call a sandbox to learn lessons before we open it up to the general public, he said. All right, now, he said that the outcome, he said the, the future would depend on the pilot. Okay, so this is big news. It is important because it gives you an idea of what other nations will do. Now, I will ask you, what do you think this means for the price of Bitcoin? Let's talk about what a central bank digital currency is just for a second anyway. If you just did a simple search on Google here, we're going to just do a quick summary so you can get some familiarity about what a central bank digital currency is, also known as a CBDC. Now, this is very new. And as a matter of fact, the only existing CBDC as of now is China. Let's jump over to the information about China. They launched their own digital currency. The report started hitting the news in April. China leaps into a central digital bank currency. And you can see more stories about this as China leaps ahead on digital currency. So you can see Wall Street Journal. China creates its own digital currency, a face for a first for a major economy. The digital one. So you can see the information that's telling you what the biggest economy in the world is doing. So what is a CBDC anyway? The Bank for International Settlements has defined a CBDC as a digital payment instrument denominated in the national unit of account. That is a direct liability of the central bank. So here's just some general information. Is the CBDC a, a cryptocurrency? A central bank digital currency is a blockchain based virtual currency issued by a central bank. Since no CBDC has been launched yet, we can only speculate on their design. This is a report from May and you can see they were not aware of what China had done. The question now is, does the United States have a CBDC? And that is the million dollar question. We'll jump over to CNBC for their report. From the Federal Reserve, the Fed this summer will take another step in developing a digital currency. This report from Jeff Cox, he's talking about the Federal Reserve will release a research paper this summer that explores a move to a central bank digital currency. This, the moves of multiple countries, most prominently China, in the central bank digital currency space has intensified talk about how aggressively the Fed should move. The Federal Reserve is moving forward in its efforts to develop its own digital currency announcing Thursday it will release a research paper this summer that explores the move further. So you can see what's going on here. Let's see if we can play a little bit of this video. Are there going to be ads? We don't know. Hey, Tyler, the Federal Reserve announcing it's taking another step at looking at the possibility of issuing a central bank digital currency, saying it's going to issue a paper. And that paper will be issued this summer that will focus on the benefits and risks of a central bank digital currency. The Fed's going to ask for public comment on whether or if it should do this thing and what the risks are. And the, uh, Chair Powell saying in a video release that the Fed made available along with this statement that this represents the beginning of a thoughtful and deliberative process when it comes to thinking about a central bank digital currency. He does not say for the Thoughtful. record that has reached a conclusion to issue one. 
But here's uh, some quick sound from what the chairman released in his video. Check this out. We are committed at the Federal Reserve to hearing a wide range of voices on this important issue before making any decision on whether and how to move forward with the U.S. CBDC, taking account of the broader risks and opportunities it could offer. He also says the CBDC should be designed for general public use and should be a complement, not a replacement for cash. So, Kelly Hart, to know notice exactly he how notice he named it. This is the Fed has been talking about thinking about issuing a CBDC for quite some time, but now it's going to issue this paper, and that paper will be coming out in the summer. See if it's interesting and maybe clearly delineate what. I think what's really interesting about this is that he gave it a name. He said U.S. CBDC. So look out for that same acronym to be used in the future. I want to jump forward in the agenda right now. Um, what I want to do right now is jump back over to the agenda and talk about what this means. The central bank, they want to create the CBDC because it benefits them. Why would they, how do they benefit? Well, it makes it easier for them to create fiat and send it to their member banks. And also, another thing that it means is it means that others will follow the lead of the example banks as the banks that are on the new compliance system will benefit somehow and other banks will seek to gain whatever that benefit is if it's a more efficient system if it is access to a little bit lower rate because you're using a different interface there will be some type of incentive that will result in some monetary gain that will cause other central banks to follow. Now I just want to opine a little bit on the market. Since this news has been out in the last seven days, ETH is down 7%, Bitcoin down 2.8%. So that's what's happening with the markets. I love to hear your opinion on what you think about the central bank digital currencies I what I'm my biggest thing is I'm curious on what will happen between nations like El Salvador that are choosing to allow or recognize Bitcoin as an official currency versus nations like China and now Ghana who are saying they're going to kick the can into the into the digital bucket by transitioning away from physical fiat into this new digital blockchain based fiat all right thank you for checking out the video make sure you share like fire is on your hair subscribe until the next time, peace.